How you doing? My name is Arthur Kindred. I am Vice President of E.G. Bowman Company. It's an African-American-owned, woman-owned insurance brokerage firm. Been around for over 60 years, and we are engaged in uh, property casualty risk management and loss control uh, services. Uh, the purpose of my uh, involvement here today is that I hope to be a part of, of awarding uh, one of the highest uh, awards to a coordinate coordinator of the event. That's the American Tennis Association. Now, you know the history of the American Tennis Association. It was formed, established, because the United States Lawn Tennis Association at the time would not allow black players to play. So I believe it was formed in 1916. And later, of course, uh, the United States Lawn Tennis Association changed its name to the United States Tennis Association. I'm happy to say at this moment that the ATA, American Tennis Association, the Black Association, and the um, United uh, Tennis Association are sponsoring this event uh, today. Um, obviously, um, it have come, we've come a long ways. Um, I believe that we have a lot more work to achieve. I uh, attended Shaw University and have an MBA from Adelphi University here in New York, uh, and I've seen a lot of a lot of changes. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, we uh, will eventually uh, have one uh, tennis association where all can play. Uh, uh, wherever they want to play. Um, my connection to the ATA goes back to uh, Dorothy Alexander. Dorothy Alexander was uh, a representative uh, back in the 60s uh, for the ATA here in New York, and she organized uh, different players. Uh, I am the founder of the Baisley Rackets Club. Uh, Baisley Rackets Club was one of the second oldest tennis club in Queens uh, or New York State, to be that exact, other than the, um, um, I forgot the name of the other uh, uh, tennis association, uh, but that uh, history is very important uh, to, to know that there are over 11 uh, black-owned tennis clubs where youth development programs are uh, uh, being conducted and and they're providing services to to their communities I don't know the, I don't know all of the um, um, cities but one come to mind obviously is uh, the tennis club in Dorchester uh, uh, Massachusetts uh, that club uh, does great uh, service to the community um, Today, I saw some great uh, action um, at the ATA's uh, uh, competition uh, at the U.S. Opens, uh, Arthur Ashe Stadium. I knew Arthur Ashe, by the way. Um, we um, uh, helped to um, develop the first black tennis magazine, and it was called um, Net Tennis. Uh, and Net Tennis. Uh, Arthur Ashe was deeply involved with net tennis. I knew at Theo Gibson, um, and as I sat and watched the play today, I saw uh, a lot of those uh, moves that uh, Sidney Lou Ellen uh, had uh, uh, helped Ash, and I see a lot of help going on uh, in uh, the activity that of the ATA. Now, I'm going to say this, and then then I'm going to conclude. Um, recently, I was in Lexington, uh, Virginia. Uh, my wife uh, uh, was serving as a uh, adjunct law professor for William uh, Washington and Lee in Lexington, uh, Virginia. And I would go down to visit her on the weekends, and, and uh, she uh, suggested that we drive over from Lexington to Lynchburg, Virginia. Now, those of you who 
are familiar with the history of Arthur Ashe and some of the black tennis players throughout the history. Uh, uh, Dr. Johnson lived in Lynchburg and uh, um, uh, uh, Lynchburg uh, uh, I visit, visited with my wife and visited the, the home of Dr. Johnson where Ashe l actually learned to play and, and have the temperament and the, and the um, uh, professional uh, uh, developed ethics there. I'm pleading with you to um, go to Lynchburg, look at the site. Uh, the, 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 the house is in uh, disrepair. It, it needs funds uh, to turn it into a museum. Um, uh, the history of black tennis uh, uh, there is a part of it. And, um, and that's Lynchburg, Virginia. Dr. Johnson uh, house is in disrepair. I saw it with my own eyes and uh, I believe that we can help save that uh, property and turn it into a museum of black, black history. Uh, I hope that you continue to have a, a wonderful tournament today, and uh, I look forward to uh, continued uh, participation in the ATA, and obviously come back to New York. Uh, I'm not a New Yorker, by the way. I live in New York, but my heart is in Mississippi. I was born in Mississippi, and I was raised in Buffalo, New York, uh, although I live here in New York City. Uh, I... Uh, uh, believe that uh, uh, the ATA should come back to New York City. Thank you.